From the Premiera Blue Cross Studio, New Day Northwest starts now. Good morning and welcome to New Day Northwest. I'm Michael King, in for Margaret this morning. And we have a lot happening, starting with a rising violin star who's been a featured soloist on two of Josh Groban's tours, and many uh, you recognize her as Annie from HBO's acclaimed series Treme. Her first concert special recently aired on PBS, showcasing her wide musical range from classical to rock. She's performing tonight at Benaroya Hall, but not before stopping by New Day with us first. Please welcome Lucia Micarelli. If I had flowers, I would toss them your way. <laughs> <laughs> have a seat. Thank you. Yeah, that was fantastic. Thanks. So now, was that fiddling or violin, or are they the same thing? <laughs> that was fiddling. That okay. was actually um, an old-time fiddle tune. Right. It's called Ladies Fancy, and I, I learned it from a family of old-time fiddle players. I just, I didn't realize that there were so many different kinds of fiddling, and when I got introduced to, there's old time fiddling and bluegrass fiddling and Cajun fiddling and I just was like, oh my goodness, I have to learn. So, <laughs> so much to choose from. Well, Lucia, yeah. that was fantastic. Thank you. Who's your fellow fiddler? That's my husband. There he is. <laughs> he is, yeah, he's a brilliant violinist and also an arranger. He actually like writes most of the arrangements for my ensemble and my show, a lot of the string arrangements and uh, yeah, it's good to have like in-house collaborator. Yeah, for sure. That's Neil? <laughs> yeah, that's Neil and Hammond. And so did he have to audition to be your husband? Like, <laughs> is that how that works? No, I just <laughs> gave him the job. <laughs> okay, you must be a violin player. How did you get your start? Like, how old were you and how did it all happen for you? Um, my mom just really wanted me to play an instrument. And um, when I turned three, she took me to the local... Three. Yeah, she took me to the local wow. Suzuki school. I think she wanted me to play piano. Uh -huh. And um, we went to the Suzuki school, and we wanted to take piano lessons. And they said, you know, my hands were too small. I should come back in a year. And my <laughs> mom was like, no, no, no. <laughs> we're going to start right now. What can she start now? And so right. I started playing violin, yeah. Her hands are small right now. We're doing violin. Right? <laughs> exactly. Where, what city was that in? I, I grew up in Queens. I was born okay. in Queens, New York. Right so that was, yeah, yeah, that was in like Flushing. Wow, that's cool. I know the Suzuki schools are, are pretty intense at times. Well, they you are, but it. I think it's a great it's a great way to start, and then, yeah. you know, and then I got more serious, and then later on, I ended up I went to Juilliard pre college, and you know, so I went. I've yeah. heard of Juilliard. <laughs> put out some pretty good musicians there. <laughs> Done an okay job. So, has it always been classical for you? It was pretty much all classical until I was about 
maybe 18. Hmm. I mean, it's kind of nerdy, but I never really <laughs> listened to anything except classical right. music until I was right. 18. And then um, when I was around that age, a friend of mine, who was also a classical musician, but like less sheltered and nerdy, <laughs> he, made me a, uh, he made me a mix CD and it right. had like Miles Davis and Coltrane and then like, like classic wow. rock and like Pink Listen Floyd. Yeah, and I was just totally <laughs> just blown away. And then I got really into like classic rock and jazz and you know, now it's just continued where I'm just, I'm just so cool. fascinated by all these other kinds of music. How about doing the special for PBS? That must have been like a dream for you as a musician. It was a dream. It was, it was a little surreal, especially, oh, so I mean, when we, uh, when we finished the final editing and they sent me the, the final product for approval and when, I, when it started and I saw that PBS logo, right. I just like burst into tears. <laughs> no, because, you know, I mean, I've grown up with like watching PBS and I remember like watching Itzhak Perlman and Yo-Yo Ma and like on Sophie Mutter and like the New York Philharmonic on PBS and seeing that logo so to like see my face yeah. and that logo I was just like what's happening right now? It would but be something. It was, it was amazing. That happened to me the first time I got to host New Day Northwest. Yeah? I saw you myself. You burst into I like, tears? <laughs> Whoa! I did burst into tears. I was very emotional. But how about How about the whole acting thing for you? You're on the HBO series Treme. Yeah. A lot of people know you're from that. Mm -hmm. uh, have you always been like this dual threat? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, um, David Simon, who's the creator and writer of Treme and also like The Wire and The Deuce and all these other right. awesome shows, yeah, he's just, he's just kind of, I don't know, he's just kind of out there and he, mm. some, he likes to pull non-actors and he knew that he wanted um, a real violinist to play the part of this street musician so he just started looking at violinists and they kind of found me and I auditioned for them and then, you know, they just threw me into it and it's like, all right, now you're acting, like, let's do it, you know. <laughs> And he That's also made cool. me sing, which I was like, what's, what's oh, happening? you sang it. Yeah, I sang on the show, wow. and now, oh, yeah, there you, you are. know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, now I sing, like, in my show as right. well. But, I mean, I owe a lot to David for just sort of, like, having this faith in me and encouraging all this other right. stuff that I never imagined I would do. So he just called you out of the blue? You get this phone call? I think he found me, like, on YouTube. I mean, wow. I had to do an audition process, sure. but, but sure. yeah, and they just found just me. Just like Neil did to your husband. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> <laughs> what, what inspires you? Oh, so many things. I mean, a lot of other musicians, obviously, um, and, and musicians all across the board these days. It's like, I love classical musicians. I love Yo-Yo, always, forever. I'll always love Yo-Yo Ma. Um, and, but then I, I'm also like really interested in folk music these days and like bluegrass and, and sort of Americana. And so, I don't know, I'm just always just like consuming and, right. and absorbing and people. I want to ask people. you, since you were talking about music, like what, what's on your playlist? And actually, I, I'm noticing you don't have to hold your bow the whole, ti whole time. You can. You're, <laughs> it's you're probably comfortable. comfortable. Yeah, you're it's used comfortable. to it. Right? It's no big deal for you. You don't even notice it, probably. But what's on your playlist? What do you have uh, These days, in your ears um, I've been listening to I'm With Her. Uh -huh. um, that's like Ifo Donovan and Sarah Jaros and Sarah Watkins. They have this like powerhouse trio female cool. singing. Yeah thing happening that's now that you're beautiful. a singer. <laughs> oh, I love what they do. <laughs> and and you know, hand in hand with that I love like Chris Lee and Punch Brothers and but also on the classical side I love Janine Jansen. I think she's incredible and I don't know, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> if you were gonna tell us a secret and nobody's watching this <laughs> and you were gonna tell us who you're gonna collaborate with. Who, who I be? wanted to yes. collaborate who, who, with? Who would you, who's your dream collaboration? <sighs> There's too many people. <laughs> I mean, probably Yo-Yo. Well, I'm living the dream with my <laughs> collaborator already. <laughs> That's so who else? Yo-Yo uh, Yo -Yo Ma, probably. Or? Probably Yo-Yo. Yeah. I mean, just because... You mentioned him already. Yeah, ever since I was a kid, I'm just he's just an idol of mine. I just love how joyful he is and sort of like warm and inclusive he right. is about, about his music. And yeah. I, I think it's a beautiful thing that he creates. Oh, well, thank you, Lucia. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Thank you so much. So this is a fiddle and a violin all at once? It's, it's all in no one. No difference. It's an all in one. Okay, <laughs> but I like to learn something every day, and I just learned that. All right. People, by the way, tonight they will be yelling encore and throwing flowers. Lucia oh. performs at 7.30 at Benaroy Hall tonight. And there are tickets available. You can find details and information on New Day's website. Thank you very much. Thank That's you. Great. All right, after the break, this week's uh, Hawk Zone with former Seahawk Jake Heaps will be right back.